On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And we will step aside for just a moment. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And able to get this one across. You just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. Day Pick night. Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Escaping the pressure right. And he finds his target. It's short. Yeah. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Open man is Noah Brown. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle as they come up on first and ten. A handoff on the option to Singletary. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Time. First and ten, it's Pierce. The numbers on the ground. Didn't seem to think this short week was going to affect him much as he chases a big performance here in prime time. This is caught. It's Woods. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Now they're, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Ready? Here's Pierce. It's going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. They'll look to throw here. Touchdown, Texans. Robert Woods. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Texans put the Knights ready in excellent field position thanks to the interception. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. On second down, here's Pierce. And he's just needing one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Devin Singletary. Oh, is difficult, CD, when you take a losing streak into a quick turnaround game like this? It certainly is because you don't get time to work on the issues that you have those and maximize what you've been doing well. And I remember a game recently where one of the assistant coaches said to the head coach, forget our running back rotation. This guy has a high hand. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Play first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination run. And the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. Catch is made, it's Schultz on the out route. And they still combined for the completion and big gain. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Uh, throw Make it ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yard they need after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. The kick by Fairbairn is good. They had the field goal last time and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just set up for three. Because I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. They'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Hamler now on the return. The field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defend. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And not a whole lot of room. Create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain a block. And try and chip someone at the second level. 
And that will be in. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football. Now is that drive back in the other direction? That last drive, they went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do. Back, back up. up. On play action, they'll throw. And it's in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll set up to throw. That's underneath to Pierce. And oh, he's just... Hurry, hurry! It's a quarterback sneak. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they're able to work. It's first and 10. As they've got things rolling under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Good chunky yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? Well, they get that one away. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. A chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. And so it is, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now here's a throw that's complete. And this is going to be another first down. From the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Ready? Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. To the goal line. That's buddy. for him. He's got second and third down to fall back on. Ready? They'll look to throw again. Toward the end zone. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying, no more. We're making a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've touchdown! Noah Brown from 17 yards out. And the Texans have made it a one-score game again. Here it is first, the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. They'll start on the ground here. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. The Broncos say they have it. They do. And this is going to take over. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. No way to make man. this a one possession game. Yes. Gotta get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. And the Broncos get there and take him down. On third down tonight, they've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and forever. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. It's get set to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Schultz. He'll be dropped after a gain of about 31. Back to throw. Throwing middle for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And so big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And he can't quite back. blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the Decent field. yardage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. That he's brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. Where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space. Maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. So this one will wind up a Denver victory. And I tell you what, one thing that you and I featured as a storyline was that they were facing the NFL's number one defense coming in, and they really took it right to them. Yeah, they didn't blink, did they? And instead of just saying to themselves, let's make sure that we minimize our mistakes and try and play a conservative type game, they attacked right from the beginning. Said, we've got to go after these guys. I think sometimes 
you take the number one rated defense by surprise when you do that. So for the Broncos, their good start continues as they get their record up to four and two. And now they'll have a few extra days here before they face Miami next week. Meanwhile, for Houston, the loss here will move them back to 500 at three and three. And now they'll head to the bye week as they'll be back in action.